kal halalium la yahavo bahasham shal yahavo shai bahasham lakak wadash which is ancient Pedro Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, in the name of Yahweh Shai, his son's only Hebrew name, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Rokakwadash, the wisdom on the sound of these holy scriptures. One says to Wadi Hawbashim Yahweh Shai for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson. My prayers are defined to the hope for the elect. Alright, double honors to the apostles and elders of great stone who teach us the holy scriptures in all truth, wisdom, and fear and understanding. So that we may um, be edified and fed in the spirit to face these last days who the Most High has chosen as the rulers of Israel. All right? Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Raka, Apostle Ramlab, and upcoming apostles and elders. All right? Um, the name of this lesson is the elect has no sin. The 144,000 men have no sin. Alright? And, um, and the Spirit got on me to do this lesson as I was buying, as I was being taught by my camp leaders. And um, you know, the Spirit had me you know, bring out this lesson at this point in time to just edify brothers. This is um, Micah chapter 7 verse 18. Who who is who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgressions of the remnant of his heritage? Right? Which power is like this, right? He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again and he will have compassion. He will subdue our iniquities and cast and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Right? Thou, thou wilt perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from days of old. Alright? And I'm, I'm going through the Spirit on this. I didn't you know, really stuck in any order. The Scripture is in any order, but let the Spirit you know, guide me. Alright? So... The Most High has pardoned our transgressions or iniquity, and says, and verse eighteen says, um, and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of the heritage of his heritage, right? The remnant talking about the hundred forty-four thousand men, one third men, women, and children, right? Who are led to be saved because two thirds of our people will now repent according to Revelation. What is it? 16? I think it's 20. Uh, no, it's 19. Mm. Alright, let me get it. This one here. Revelation 8, no, 9 and 20. It says. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Alright, so in spite of all the wickedness, these men would not repent. Yeah, it's 16 and 9. Alright, it says, And the men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of Yahweh, which hath power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. Alright? The fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed the Most High, blasphemed the power of heaven, because of their pains and sores, and repented not of their deeds. Alright? As the heathen and two thirds of our people. Alright? So the sins of the elect are blotted out. Um let's go to uh Second Ezra sixteen and seven to six, one of my favorite precepts. It says Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, because um 
we shouldn't be afraid because you have bash and he didn't give us a giving us a spirit of fear he didn't give the elect a spirit of fear lord willing and aware of that number he didn't give us a spirit of fear nor nor should we doubt for the Mosai is our is your guide so he's our guide and the scripture said in revelation 14 that these are the men, the 144,000 men that followed Yahweh Shai wheresoever he went. Followed the Lamb wheresoever he went, to be a little more specific, roughly paraphrasing. He said, verse 76, And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Alright? So you like to keep the commandments and precepts to the best of the ability, and Yahweh Shai will be the author and finisher of the faith. But there's a bit more to it as I you know, progress in this lesson through the Spirit. Says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts say to have a power. Let not your sins weigh you down, let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Alright? Verse 77. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with the iniquity with their iniquities, like as a field covered over the bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel through. Alright? Yes, it is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed and that's why it's spirit led me to read our uh, revelation with the fire you know to consume the fire because they would not repent they were bound to their sins you know and um, the scripture says blesses the man who the most I imputed not iniquity you know as in like he embedded them or you know leave them to their own own um, destruction all right um, so let's get uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 12 let's see uh, 12 yeah 29 slot yeah as for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. And what, what image is his son right now? In righteous and holy and, and pure without sin. Right? That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. And that's what I was talking about. These men were justified by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, so those sins have been forgotten and cast into the sea. All right, those sins have been forgotten and cast into the sea, in the depths of the sea, to be exact. It says, what shall we say then to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? Because it says in Revelation that Esau would be um. Let's see where it is again. Accuse us, accuse us to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai day and night. All right, he accuse us to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai day and night. Like, look at them. Is this your people? And you know, he's trying to get the elect. The scripture says that if the days were not shortened, they would they would they would have deceived the elect. That's how serious it's gonna be. So we gotta keep pushing. We gotta keep pushing. And there are some sins. There's some sins unto death, there's some sins unforgivable, like blasphemy in the Holy Spirit. But they like they ain't gonna they ain't gonna do no bug down shit like that. That's why it talks about, you know, them keeping the commandments in second Ezra sixteen. Alright. Um I think I got one more here. Uh did I go to Revelation? No. I say that one for last. I think I got one more first John. Three, uh, twelve. I think it's twelve. No. Okay, you use three and two though. Yeah. And then I use two and uh, twelve. Yeah. It says First John chapter three verse two. Beloved, now are ye the sons of the Most High, and what the sons. It was like the prodigal son, we returned and Yahweh Hashem Yahushai forgive us and clean us up. You know, two thirds would eventually be, be forgiven through the elect. But you know, on this on this time, the the the, um, the elect has no sin. Right? And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. 
For we know that when we when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as it, as he is. Alright? It says, Every man that hath hope in him purified himself even as he is pure. Alright, and that's what we that's what we're working on through the spirit. Uh, this is uh first John chapter two and verse uh, 12 it says I write unto you little children because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake you know so that Yahweh could be praised and glorified so that the, the holy scriptures would not be mocked that it would stand sure alright I'm going to read down a little more for edification it says I write un, unto you fathers because ye have known him that it's from the beginning I write on you young men because you have overcome the wicked one. Yeah. Through spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai the elect has overcome Esau and his all his all the devils, the red Hebrew Edomite, and all his devils and temptations, track, schemes and plots. So I write unto you little children because you have known the Father. And the scripture says to know Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is perfect righteousness. Alright? Says, I have written unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning. So from the beginning, they've been righteous. And we all fell off, even Yahweh when he was in this flesh. So now we just got to hold the course. But only through Yahweh who was able to overcome sin, that we have this, have this one, this one path. This one chance. <sighs> Slack, y'all. It says, um, I write unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of Yahweh abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. And it says, wisdom will not be in a malicious soul. That's why the word is in them. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta remain focused and hope, pray that we are those men. All right, final precept you spray for Revelation chapter 14. And verse 1 and you know it says and I looked and lo a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and with him a hundred and forty four thousand having his father's name written in their foreheads and I heard a voice from heaven as a voice of many waters and as a voice of great thunder and I heard a voice of harpers harping in the with their harps and they sung it as it were a new song before the throne and before the and before the, the beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. All right, they were saved because they were they they were diligent, they were doing the works, you know. It says these are these are they that which were not defiled with women, and that's not my doctrine, not literal with women. Because it says in Isaiah sixty five that the elect would have children, offspring, to be ex the exact words, right? For they are virgins. What do I mean by virgins? Untouched by by the wicked philosophies. They be one face. They they turn away from their wicked ways, right? These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These are they which these these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Yo. And it says in James, and if any man could tame the tongue, could be would be perfect, right? And it says here, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. So you can't come before the Most High with, with your filthiness. You would have died in died the um die die even before you come close. Right, it says so in um, Exodus twenty that don't come to the altar with your nakedness, rough, roughly paraphrased, and that's talking that's talking about literal nakedness. Right? Yeah, you're not supposed to be, you know, revealing your nakedness. Yeah, but that's talking about whatever sin or uncleanness you can approach the altar. Right? And um, with that, I pray that this lesson will be fine. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Hashem Akakwadash. Shalom Akim. Till another time.